16 Best Food Processing Business Ideas in Rwanda for 2020 Humans have evolved to such a time where they are no longer able to consume all they have cultivated. This is due in part to the effective use of technology in farming. The food surplus that resulted from these robust farm practices need to be preserved and this was what gave rise to food processing. Food is usually processed to ensure proper preservation and as well to derive other useful food products from them. Food processing mostly involves mincing and macerating, liquefaction, emulsification, cooking such as boiling, broiling, frying or grilling, pickling, pasteurization, and many other kinds of preservation, and canning or other packaging of food. With this industry growing bigger, now is the ideal time to invest. If you want to start a food processing business, here are 16 ideas that can help you pick out the best fit for you. Hello viewers, welcome to the Business in Africa YouTube channel and thanks for watching. If you are new here, consider subscribing and also turn on notification so you don't miss any of our subsequent videos. We always love to produce videos that add value to the business in Africa community. So if you have any suggested videos that you would love us to produce, drop it in the comment section below so we can do that video just for you. Number one, mushroom processing. Mushrooms are one of the very healthy foods in the world today. They are a type of fast-growing basidiometrous fungi which produces fleshly bodies. They are rich in proteins, vitamins, and minerals, so they are very much rich in energy. The world boasts of about 100 species of edible mushrooms, but just as a few are indigenous to each country, fresh mushrooms have very limited life as they can decay in ass, so they need to be consumed almost immediately after harvest. But processing and canning increase their shelf life to more than a few months. Osmotic dehydration is one of the most important methods of processing mushrooms which involves drying the mushrooms. This is a very profitable food processing business, but note that you have to be able to cultivate the mushrooms on your own to be able to maximize profits. Number 2. Onion Processing Onions are one other food products or spice that can be processed. Onion is an important vegetable crop that is grown in different parts of the world and forms part of the daily diet in almost all households throughout the year. Onions by their nature are perishable food products and cannot be stored for a long time after harvest in ordinary conditions. And as such, they are usually processed into various forms to increase their shelf life. Onions are usually dehydrated and made into onion powder to be used in soups and sauces. If you live in a region that allows for the effective growth of onion, you can start an onions processing business. Number 3. Dehydration and canning of fruits and vegetables. Most of the fruits and vegetables produced all over the world are consumed in the fresh form. But with the increasing urbanization and continuous effort to provide a regular supply of acceptable and desirable food, the world is producing more food than it can consume. One of the oldest methods of food preservation is by drying, which reduces water actively sufficiently to prevent or delay bacterial growth. Drying also reduces weight, making food more portable. It is also worthy to note that canned foods still retain their nutritional contents. Certain products like green peas, cauliflower, carrots, spinach, etc. command gold prices during lean and off season. Dehydration of fruits and vegetables is a good business for one who lives in a farming community. Number 4. Fruit juice processing packaging. Making fruits into juices and pulp is the one way to preserve fruits that typically have very short shelf life. Fruit juices are usually packaged in aseptic packaging, making them have longer shelf life. Fruit juices are used in homes, canteens, hotels, restaurants are also in weddings, birthday parties and all types of celebration. 
It should be noted that juices are not the only things that can be gotten from fruit. Fruits of various kinds can be dried or made into purees, example banana puree, and are all used to make baby food. Number five, garlic processing. Garlic is one of the most medically viable spices in the world today. Because of its medical properties, people consume them quite a lot. It is also used in flavoring of many food products and in Ayurvedic medicines. Garlic can be processed into various usable forms like garlic powder, dehydrated garlic, garlic drink, etc. You can start a small-scale garlic processing company and focus on exporting your products. Number 6. Jam and Jelly Production Jelly is a clear, bright mixture made from fruit, sugar, and sometimes pectin. Jam is produced by taking mashed or chopped fruit or vegetable pulp and boiling it with sugar and water. When the mixture reaches a temperature of 140 degrees, the acid and the pectin in the fruit react with the sugar and the jam is left to cool down the set. Jelly and jam is used as bread spread and as a filling for some cakes and cookies. Jam production business does not require much capital to start and you can equally start it from home. Number 7. Seafood processing and packaging. Seafood processing refers to the process carried out on seafood between the time they are caught or harvested and the time the final product is delivered to the consumer. Seafood can comprise of fish, crabs, prawns, oysters, lobsters, and what have you. Because of the short shelf life of these aquatic animals, they are usually processed almost immediately. To enable them reach their final consumers, seal foods are usually frozen, salted, dried or smoked, canned, etc. Number 8. Tomato processing. Tomatoes are one fruit that is popular world over. They are low in calories and a good source of vitamin C and antioxidants. With their rich flavor and mild acidity, tomatoes have worked their way into thousands of recipes. Because tomatoes do not stay very long in their fresh state, so they are usually processed after harvest to avoid major losses. Tomato paste or tomato concentrate is the main product of processed tomatoes and even the most popular for households. Tomatoes can also be canned, made into juice, puree, paste, ketchup, and sauces, etc. Number 9. Production of sauces. Sauces are a byproduct of food processing. A sauce is a liquid cream or semi solid food byproduct that is served on or used in preparing other foods. Sauces add flavor, moisture, and visual appeal to a dish. These days, sauces are produced, packaged, and sold in grocery stores. Because people can get already made sauces from shop, their demand has gone up. If you are adept in food processing, you can produce and package tomato, chili, oyster, soya, etc. Sauces for sale. These sauces can be prepared at home and you do not need to invest on a different property. Your primary focus should be on the quality and the taste. Number 10. Cashew nut processing. Cashew nuts are the nuts that accompany cashew fruit. Cashews are always in high demand because they make a great snack and it packs a lot of nutrients. These nuts are usually salt, salted because salt increases the flavor of the cashew. Cashew nut processing and packaging makes a good business because cashew nuts are sold at high price because of its high demands. The activities that are involved in cashew processing are cooking, curtain, cashew kernel drying, peeling, grading, and packing. Cashew nut processing can be initiated at small scale and it can equally be exported. This business does not take much to start as you only need to invest in raw materials, manpower and packaging. Number 11. Vinegar production. Vinegar is a liquid consisting of about 5 to 20 percent acetic acid water and other trace chemicals which may include flavorings. The acetic acid is produced by the fermentation of ethanol by acetic acid bacteria. Today, Vinegar is mainly used as a cooking ingredient and for pickling. It is also used in cleaning, washing hair, preserving food, 
detox and improving skin function. But note that you have to sound technical knowledge before you can embark on vinegar production. Number 12. Winemaking, winery. Winemaking or vinification is the production of wine, starting with the selection of the fruit, its fermentation into alcohol, and the bottling of the finished liquid. Winemaking has a very long history and it is still relevant today. If you live in an area with an abundance of vineyards, you can start a micro winery and make wines for sale to your local community. If you have the resources, you can start it on a large scale. Number 13. Honey processing. Bees collect nectar which they convert into honey and store as a food source. Honey processing is concerned with liquefying and filtering of the raw honey. Four major byproducts of the honey making process include beeswax, pollen, royal jelly, and propolis. Beeswax is produced in the bee's body as the nectar is transforming into honey. The production process is simple and can be initiated on a small scale and home-based basis. With the growing awareness of the nutritional and medicinal properties of honey, one can make good profits out of this business in the long run. Number 14. Meat Processing Meat processing technology comprises the step and procedures used in the manufacture of processed meat products. Methods of meat processing include salting, curing, fermentation, smoking, etc. The meat processing industry is highly regulated in America to prevent contamination, so the person who wants to go this route has to acquire a lot of license and permits and ensure that they have a hygienic working environment. Meat can be processed and sold as bacon, ham, hot dogs, sausages, salami, corned beef, beef jerky, canned meat, and meat-based sauces. Number 15. Start a brewery. A brewery or brewing company is a business that makes and sells beer. Beer is a byproduct of grains like hops, wheat, corn, etc. So brewing is actually the processing of cereals and grains into an alcoholic beverage. A brewery is a food processing business idea an entrepreneur can start if he has the financial capacity. But if he does not have a capital, he or she can start a microbrewery that produces craft beers. This business can be done on a small scale with little capital and so can suit various capital ranges. But note that different licenses and permissions are required to initiate this business. Number 16. Coconut oil production. Coconut oil is not only beneficial for cooking as it can be used to smooth various elements and even for massages and other industrial applications. Because of the many uses of coconut oil, it is seeing great demand in the market today. Coconut oil is a byproduct of the coconut fruit and it is gotten via processing. To start processing coconut fruit or its oil, you must locate your business in a place that has an abundance of fruiting coconut trees. Having your business in this location will help you save money and transporting the produce from a far place.